Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. My dear children, how are you? I'm so happy to be back with you with another story of the Prophet alayhi salam. And this time the story is going to be about Nu alayhi salam. But before starting the story, what do we have to do? We have to make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to make it easy for me to tell you things and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to make it easy for you to understand. Right? Let's pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rabbi shrah li sadri wa yassir li amri wa hlu luqadatan min lisani yafqahu qawli rabbana zidna ilma. Ameen. Now my dear children, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent prophets after Adam alayhi salam guiding people to the truth, to the right path. But Iblis was hard at work too. He hated it when people prayed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. So he tricked them into praying to stones. Yes, how silly is that? But they started to do that. And something had to be done to stop him. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Prophet Nuh alayhi salam to guide the people back. It was not an easy thing to do. He called people Fear Allah alone and do what Allah likes, Nuh alayhi salam said. His people did not want to hear. They just stuck their fingers into their ears and walked away. Astaghfirullah. How disrespectful, right? Nuh alayhi salam told them, Don't you see how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made the moon light up the sky? And how he made the sun like a lamp? It was Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who spread the earth like a carpet for you. So why are you not grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? His people did not care. You're a man just like us, they said. We think you're lying. Only a few people believed with Nuh alayhi salam. The rest of them just turned away. Nuh alayhi salam called them to Allah for 950 years. Yes, in those days... The humans had a very long lifespan. So he preached for 950 years. He never became tired, but his people did. They threatened him, saying, You have called us for so long. If you don't stop, we'll stone you to death. Astaghfirullah. The more Nuh alayhi salam called his people, the more they turned away. So Nuh alayhi salam came, gave them a warning. I fear for you the punishment of a painful day. The people replied, Bring us the punishment if you're telling the truth. They did not show any respect and they did not have any shame. Now they had gone too far. You know how it all started? Iblis told them that your good, good, pious people have died. Make pictures of them. When they made the pictures, Iblis came and said, You know, the pictures are going to fade away. Make statues of your pious people they made the statues and then they started to pray to the statues instead of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this is how it all started and they did not listen to Nuh alayhi salam when he told them that it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is providing you everything he is the one who created you he is the one who is owner of all the universe but they did not listen and this went on for 950 years. Just imagine, that was a long time. Now I want you to think about it. If you had to tell someone something good and you tell him one day and the next day and another day and the fourth day and then you would say, I am sick and tired of this person because he doesn't seem to understand what I'm trying to tell him. Why doesn't he listen? I am only trying to help him. But prophets can do that. They don't and they can't get tired. They have to convey the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Prophet Nu was very steadfast in doing that. Now we'll stop the story over here and learn the lessons from this part of the story. My dear children, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so merciful and he loves us so much that he provided us everything that we need to live our life and he provided the food for our souls as well. How? I'll tell you. He chose some truthful, humble, sincere people as prophets. They got the messages of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they conveyed those messages to other people. And look at 
how people of Nuh alayhi salam got into the trap of shaitan. Slowly and gradually he got them into the trap. So we need to know that shaitan will make us do small bad deeds first and then slowly and gradually he is going to drag us into doing bigger bad deeds. So we need to be very very careful when he is whispering in our ears to do any bad deeds. We say, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajim. Okay my dear children. Till next time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdika. Nashadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilaik.